did when I did Lawan and and the the Luke Skywalker records and all that. When did you guys just when part? Did, when did it fade away? When did it part? Was there a specific incident? Was it just what? It just was just over. Or it just went away, and nobody was doing nothing else. Or well, what you know, I um, two live crew uh, and Luke records. Uh, they were going through some changes uh, and some issues were happening with the business. Uh, I didn't know all of that was going on. I was really focused on what it is that I need to do. Around this time, I'm hitting 17, 18. Uh, I'm a senior in high school. So, you know, you either go to college, you get a job, or, you know, you continue to make records. That's, that's what my thing is. And so Luke was like, what, do you wanna do? what are you going to do? And I told him, I usually do what you guys tell me to do. I don't know what to do. We're going to make some more records. We can do that or, you know, whatever. So I was like, you know, I don't know. So he said, okay. And, you know, that was the last discussion about, about business. I uh, couldn't sit around the house. You know, I live in Liberty City. I know what's going to happen there. Um, I didn't prepare to go to college, so I ran off to the Marines. Um, I ran off to the Marines and just to occupy some time and, me, I'm in, the, I'm in the, you know, challenges and things like that. So it's a Saturday. I get a phone call about the Marines. I ain't doing nothing. I can make records whenever. I can do whatever it is I want to do. Um, so I go up to the Marines, and I, I get that experience, come back home. I went reserve um, because I knew it, it was just something to hold me over for the time. Uh, and that's a whole different experience. Um, but I, I get back uh, to civilian life and, you know, I get back into the music business behind the scenes. So I'm doing like club promotions. And I had maybe produced like maybe two albums that didn't get released, an album or two that didn't get released. Uh, working with Michael Sterling and Mike Fresh uh, and Toomp, DJ Toomp. Um, this is around. These are your, your own albums or for other people? Um, no, this was, this was uh, just before um, me and Luke had our, our discussion. and. Uh, oh. And then I, uh, shortly after that, I went, when I got back from the Marines, um, he, you know, he's like, I'm real proud of you. He went off to the Marines, you know, that's, that's some tough stuff. You know, I got love from the office, everybody at the office. Um, and, uh, you know, those albums that I did before still hadn't been released. Uh, so I just got a release from the label, not knowing that, you know, there was going to be some major changes taking place. So I kind of uh, just moved on to some other things, and I got into you know stocks, real estate. I'm doing concert promotion, writing songs along the way. But the music industry had changed as far as the music was at, at that time. Um, so you know what happened at 12 had just changed just like that. You know, 13, 14, 15 it was like boom, boom, boom. Everything was moving. Now um, what? You're you're in the 90s now. Yeah, so we're in the 90s now. Um, the new Jack Swing era is gone. Uh, NWA and Ice Cube is real hot. Uh, so everybody's gangsters and thugs now. And, you know, I'm from the streets. I grew up in the streets, ran the streets like everybody else. But, you know, my, my thug swag is not, it ain't that type of picture. Um, so I never, I was able to maintain my identity and who I was um, through my music. And um, the seasons change, uh, the music's change, but... Um, I just create and express what I am at that time. And I learned that um, at 12, at 13, 14, you know, teenage stage, I was watching, um, I was looking at something about Curtis Blow. I was watching him perform, and Heavy D uh, and the boys were really hot around that time, too. And, you know, uh, I'm, I'm watching the game. Who was before me? Who's here with me? Who's you know, coming up next and what's expected to happen after. Um, just I'm observing the whole thing because I'm watching Billboard every day. And at 13, 14, you know, we're having these discussions in schools about what you're going to do with your life. I'm around millionaires, you know, every day. We're making money. Um, so it's like I'm going to be all right. You know, I'm going to be all right. I, uh, but I had to make some adjustments. So yeah, I'm in the 90s now. The music is changing. What do you do? You hit the, the mid-90s, the late-90s. Uh, Puffy and Jay-Z, they killing the game around that time, you know? The music is changing again. Uh, 2005, um, the, the early 2000, DMX and Nas. Nas was, Nas was making records, uh, what, in the 90s? Young, yeah. young. He was young. He was another one. Um, 
uh, that was around for a long time. Strong rapper, really, yeah, really strong. And he really stuck to um, who he was, because this this uh, the music industry will change you if you let it, but you have to be able to adjust to the cause. I watch LL do it, um, and so around that time, I'm just observing what's taking place in the music industry and what I need to do for me, not just on a business level, but a personal level. So I reverted, uh, you know, uh, I look back at, you know, those walks from school home with the other kids saying, you shouldn't make a record with Luke. And I'm like, you're going to give me a record deal, you know, just, and then I go to the office. I got to deal with, hey, well, this is what the numbers look like. Uh, we're going to be doing this show, this and that. So I'm just constantly observing my movement and balancing my way as I go. And again, you know, this, this road, my mom is not, um, my mom and my parents, they're not, uh, they're not into the music like I am. They're just happy to see me come home safe and everything. And when I go up to the record company, you know, it's business. And, you know, as far as, like, friends and everything, it's, you know, I got a couple of kids at school I'm, I'm cool with, but I want to talk about anything but the rap business. So as the music uh, changed, you know, I just made my adjustments.